everybody, it's Ariel or L, and I'm back for another bump date for all of you guys. So I'm finally catching up and this week is actually going to be week 22 and 23 because I had a midwife appointment and so I wanted to wait until after my midwife appointment because I figured I'd have a lot more to update you guys on. I just like, I, there, nothing really happened week 22. I'm feeling more swollen down there, um, but because the baby's really low. Um, but other than that, there's not like a whole lot going on. So I wanted to wait till after my midwife appointment. Luckily, I'm posting this a little bit before. I'm officially 24 weeks pregnant, so I can catch you guys up on everything. So like I said, week 22, not a whole lot has been going on. The only issue I've been having is I'm starting to have increased heartburn and increased constipation, which isn't super fun. And I've been kind of struggling with that on and off. And I've also, the biggest thing is the heartburn has started to get to the point where I'm struggling to keep food down, which isn't great. So I never had morning sickness or anything like that. I haven't been nauseous at all. But unfortunately, the heartburn is so bad that, and it's only when I'm laying down and it doesn't matter what food it is. I've tried every kind of food. I've avoided every certain kinds of food because at the beginning of my pregnancy, I had heartburn too. So um, it's every time I lay down and it doesn't matter what food I'm eating. So what was happening is I would, it would get to the point where the heartburn was so bad, I would just have, I wouldn't even have nausea, I would just all of a sudden feel like I had to throw up. It was like, if you guys know what I'm talking about with this, it's almost like you get this like numb sensation and you're like, oh my god, like right now I'm going to vomit. And so I'd like run to the bathroom. And so this happened once when we were on vacation visiting my parents up in New Hampshire, and this happened yet again the morning of my midwife appointment. And we were trying everything. We tried baking soda, Tums, whatever. I hadn't tried anything stronger than that. I was a little nervous. I wanted to talk to my midwife about it. And so she actually recommended, she said, have you tried Zantac? And I said, I haven't yet. I was nervous, like, is that safe for pregnancy? And she said, it's totally safe. So what I've actually been doing is I've been taking it just before I go to sleep and then I don't have any problem at all. No problems at all. Because during the day I have a little bit of heartburn here and there, but it's really not that bad. Not even to the point where I need to take a Tums or anything like that. Um, it's only when I'm laying down. As soon as I'm laying down, it's like, oh my gosh. And just my body just wants to get rid of whatever's in my stomach. Um, so anyway, so I have been taking Zantac um, every night before going to bed and uh, that has been working like a charm for me. So if any of you guys are having any issues with really bad heartburn or if you can't keep things down, then definitely try that. The baking soda did help, but it wasn't lasting long enough. Like I'd still wake up a couple hours later and still have the same problem going on. So that was short lived. <clears throat> the other thing my midwife mentioned to me, which I'd never heard of in my life, is something called Yellow Dock Herb or, oh, it's root, Yellow Dock Root. So Yellow Dock Root, is this like dried out herb or root or whatever it is. <clears throat> I'd never heard of it before, I'd never seen it before, and she said it's kind of like this miracle cure for constipation. So um, she even said, I was like, where do I get this? And she's like, oh, well, there is a place down the street. So I go to my midwife in Cambridge, which is far away from us. It's about an hour and a half with traffic to get there. <clears throat> But um, but Cambridge is kind of known, this part of Massachusetts is known for kind of like like alternative medicine and healthy eating and I don't know, it's hard to explain. If you guys live in Massachusetts, you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> just very like yoga and I don't know. Anyways, so there's a place down the street from my midwife that sells it. So I went there and it's like all these jars. I'll insert a picture here. It was really cool. So it was all these jars lined up and you just went and like scooped a couple um, scoops and you like weigh it and buy it by the ounce or whatever. <clears throat> so I bought a couple um, scoops of it and I brought it home. She said I needed to boil it for at least 30 to 40 minutes, which is good because of my food allergies. I can eat cooked um, things uh, that are cooked for a long time even if I happen to be allergic to it. There's a video all about my food allergies. If you guys are curious, it's on my channel. And if you can't find it on my channel, I'll link it down below. So just let me know if you can't find it. <clears throat> but I go into detail about all this stuff. But anyways, um, so, so I brought it home and I cooked it for a really long time. Uh, my only issue is I think I made it a little too concentrated. And oh my gosh, guys, it is the nastiest tasting stuff in the world. And I have tried some really out there foods in my life. I've tried some really out there 
herbs and kombuchas and weird probiotic things, fish oil, all kinds of funky stuff. And this is by far the nastiest tasting stuff I've ever tasted. It's just extremely bitter. Like, think of anything bitter you can possibly imagine and like times it by a bazillion. Um, but it works. Oh my gosh, it actually worked too well and I started having contractions from it working so well. And um, it was actually like three days after I started taking the yellow dock that it was like I started having like somewhat regular contractions and they were getting kind of intense and so I actually called the on-call line of the midwife um, of the birth center and they were really sweet. They were like, it's probably just because of like your intestines going crazy and all you need to do is just like lay down, have a big meal, and drink a ton of water and a ton of juice, and like hopefully everything will go back to normal, which it did. That was really good advice, because me and my husband were like freaking out, and we're like ready to just like jump in the car and run to the ER or something, or run to the nearest hospital and be like, please, like stop my labor if this is early labor. Um, so really glad, because even though I'm a nurse and I know a lot, it's still really rattling being a mom and like having that happen. Um, <laughs> so anyways, so Yellow Doc worked a little bit too well, and uh, I definitely think made it, I made it a little too concentrated. So what I wound up doing is instead I've, I've started taking magnesium. It's like the Philips caplets that are kind of made for constipation, but all they are is magnesium. And I've started taking one of those every single day and I have not had a problem since. So I think part of it's probably I'm magnesium deficient anyways because I have a really funky diet. Um, and I'm sure lots of Americans are magnesium deficient because of our depleted soils and all of that rigmarole. Um, but the Yellow Dock tea worked extremely well. All I did was just boil it for like, I think 30 to 40 minutes, just the herb, and then you strain it out and then I put it in a big pitcher and I would mix it like, at one point I was only doing a quarter, like if I had a big glass, I was doing like a quarter Yellow Dock tea and the rest like cranberry juice because it was so bitter I needed to drink it with something. Um, and even that was like too strong, like it was causing my body to <laughs> be a little, like it was a little too efficient of a laxative. But it worked so well <clears throat> that all of the extra yellow dock that I had, I poured into ice cubes, um, ice cube molds, and I froze it. So now, um, and then I, you know, released the molds and put it into a gallon size Ziploc baggie in our freezer and labeled it. So now I have like serving sizes of this tea in case ever need to use it again. And this time around, I'll make sure that I make it really diluted. <laughs> like I'll probably melt an ice cube in a, in a like giant glass of water and then drink that over, you know, like a two day period or something like sips of it so that it, that doesn't happen again. And then the other funny thing is I was like, well, we can also use this to initiate labor when I'm <laughs> overdue, if I get overdue. So I thought that was funny, um, but it did work super, super well. So if anyone out there is having um, trouble with this, I am, every body is different. So some people it works really gently and it, it's like the perfect thing that they need. But for me, it was just a little bit too strong. And that was probably my fault because I think I just made it too concentrated. Like I used a recipe online for it. And I think that because it boiled for so long, it like lost a lot of the water. And so it became a lot more concentrated. <laughs> So that was my fault. Don't over concentrate your yellow dock tea, everybody. If you're gonna use it and just be prepared for how incredibly bitter it is. Mix it with a juice or whatever you gotta do. Um, I wouldn't take it in shot form because it's so strong that, yeah, you wouldn't, you, it would cause a lot of intestinal cramping, I would think. Uh, if you just like took it really quickly undiluted, that would be horrible. Um, but anyway, so that's been the biggest gist of what's going on. And the other good news is at my midwife appointment, I was 175 pounds, which means I'm finally starting to get on normal track of weight gain. So that makes me happy. I'm not like shooting way too high or staying too low. It's just kind of on an even steady gait of weight gain. So that makes me really happy because I was getting nervous. <laughs> and obviously with the throwing up from the acid reflux, that wasn't good either. <laughs> But um, now that everything is normal again, I'm feeling great and just still and so much enjoying being pregnant. And this is such a wonderful time of year to be pregnant, everybody. And I hope you all have a wonderful new year and a wonderful winter season. And let me know what's going on in your lives down below. And if you have any questions or anything, um, yeah, let me know. And that's it for now, guys. And if you like, subscribe. Bye.